I'm too old for Netflix and chill. We're going to get Popeyes and <laughs> and we're going to call it Chicken and Dickin. I'll bring the drumsticks. Time for another one. Yeah, now, nah, baby. Yeah. Dang, hold on. You look good. I ain't gonna lie. Thanks, baby. Yeah, of course. I got you. Mm hmm. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah, have fun in your girls' night. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. Looks like some fun to me. We used to go hit him down there at the Russian River. It was a great time. If she don't get her coochie waxed, she shall not ride in the Duramax. Oh, sweet mother of God. Get the f out of my car. Get, get out of my car. Are you serious? Get out of my car. Dude. Holy shit. We can talk about Get this. out, shut the door. are cool, the gatties are cool, but you know, calling your mother and say, hey mom, well you're working that shitty job in that kitchen, washing those dishes, you know what, you never have to work again. That's happiness. That's my ultimate goal right there. You guys, if you want to retire your parent too, you don't got to do it all in one shot. Like, you know, you can supplement their income or you can figure out how to take care of their rent or their living expenses and little by little do it over time. So make it happen. I mean, how are you going to drive a Ferrari when your mom's making minimum wage? Shit don't make sense. something to you about women okay if you like me and I don't like you but I like that you like me I'm going to keep playing with you <laughs> now if I like you and you don't like me I'm gonna like you so much more but if I like you and you like me eventually I'm going to stop liking you it's simple guys they love the mind games you know I think that was one of my my bigger mistakes is I would try to be as direct as possible. Women don't like direct. Women like mind games. Women like indirect answers. You got to play a game. And when you stop playing the game, they just get out. So, I mean, you got to keep it up, man. Keep it up. Keep playing with them. Keep mind fucking mind fuckery. That's the key. Um, no, I ordered the chocolate shake. Oh, my bad. Um... Oh, give me a break. Hi there. Can I withdraw $40,000, please? We're at my parents' house. I'm gonna give him 40 grand for all he spent on my education. He sent me to a private school in high school, and it wasn't easy for him. Like, we didn't have money to blow on school, but he wanted me to be successful so badly. He wanted me to go to college, get an education, just to better my life. And, you know, I'd come home every day with bad grades, or I, like, cheated on a test, or I got in trouble. And they're like, Bailey, you gotta get it together. I'm, I'm sacrificing this money so I can pay for your school so you can have a good life. I was like, Dad, like, I, I, I promise I'm gonna blow up with YouTube. I'll pay you back one day. I'm gonna get rich, I promise. Hey, Dad. Come here. I told you one day I'd do it. Here's for school. I got you. Here you go. No, no, no. no 40 no. grand. No, you're taking it. You got it. It's yours. I'm not. It's yours right here. I'm leaving. Yeah, here we go. Kids are paying back their parents moment again. I really like these moments. These are great moments. So giving back, 
showing appreciation is a really good feeling for you. And I think a lot of people don't realize that like the person that's expressing expressing the appreciation is just as fulfilled as the individual that's receiving the appreciation. So if you have someone in your life that's really been there for you, write out that thoughtful text and send it to them or call them on the phone and just let them know that they've really had an impact on your life and that you think about it from time to time. It's a great feeling. You guys need to, you know, it's a good thing to do. So do that. Excuse me, excuse me. How much for some sloppy coffee with a twist? $500. Oh, 500? Well, I only have a dollar. Uh, would you have anything for that? I don't have anything for a dollar. F off. I heard you need a sloppy coffee with a twist. Yeah, but I only have one dollar. Oh, I could do that for you. Oh my God, you'd give me a sloppy coffee with a twist? Sure, on the house. Oh, that's so amazing. So, why'd you decide to help me today? I think everyone in the world needs a sloppy coffee with a twist. It's for kindness. It would make the world a better place. Well, you know what? I have more than just a dollar. I have a thousand dollars just for you. Oh my god. That's right, I'm doing kindness. And I decided that the first person who offers me a sloppy with a twist would get a thousand dollars. Wow, my dad has double cancer and this is really gonna help with the bills. Well, you know, you're special and I love you. Oh, I love you too. Fuck off. Well, I guess that's a great place to pay it forward. Some dumpster alley somewhere with some ratchets in the back. But hey, man, these days... If someone's asking you for a dollar, you got to give it to them because they might give you a thousand. All the YouTubers out there, all the people doing that stuff. So uh, don't miss your moment. If they're looking for a dollar for gas, that 99 cents might make you a thousand air. Give a man food, shelter, and a woman. You'll see him throw his goals and ambitions away. This is what comfort does to your body. Get used to being uncomfortable if you want the best life. Shut the f*** up. Stop whining and enjoy the discomfort. First thing you need to do is you need to get their attention. Excuse me, excuse me. I just want to say you are absolutely beautiful. Excuse me, excuse me. I just want to tell you, you're absolutely beautiful. The reason I say that is because 99% of the time, unless the girl's a as a person, the only thing she can really say is thank you. She has to say something positive. Right? Thank you. I just want to come and tell you that. I'm sure you hear it all the time. I know you get this all the time. And I'm sure you get this all the time. And I was wondering if I could have your Instagram. Can I get your Instagram by any chance? Can you hang out later on? <laughs> and after she gives me her Insta, this is the true test. Mm, okay. What's your name? I'll say she says. Jane. What's your name? Matilda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When she tells me her name back, I'll say it's nice to meet you, Jane. And I'll wait two seconds. If she says, what's your name? What's your name? Max. Max, where are you from? She wants to know my name back. It's done. Game over. 100% in the bag. Yeah, I like this. This shit's on point right here. I do do that, that no matter. Well, I don't go up to them and say that, but I will ask them for their name to see if they ask for my name back. So I think that's lace game. I will. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a shot. I I like his approach. I like the style. Y'all should do it in the comments too. If y'all uh, decide to approach some girls, try this one out. Let us know how it went. What if I told you you're not ugly? You're just poor, and I'm only as poor as my taste in men. And girls like me are just like Rolls Royces. Everyone thinks we're beautiful. But for some reason, only rich old men take us out on their free time. And just like the car, my maintenance is expensive. So here's how much money I spend in Miami to look good. First, I'm starting off at Dr. Ron's office. Here, he's gonna do Botox and thread lift. This only costed $5,000. I make more money than that in a week, so it's okay. What's not okay was my face after anesthesia. Anyway, after all of that, I want to go get my eyebrows and eyelashes done. I went to Wonderlash Lift, and this costed me $220. I do this to trick men into thinking I just wake up beautiful. Next, I went to go get my hair done at CR Salon and Spa. Here, I got a full head of highlights, got my nails and toes done simultaneously, got a blowout, and then got a haircut. I ended up spending around $450 here. Ugh, it's expensive being me. I guess I'll just have to send my sugar to daddy an invoice. Oh, and don't forget... Life's a bitch, so marry rich, and you're only too much for someone who can't afford you. Go find rich husband. Well, might be a crime in a few states. Man, they say a woman is based on deception, that everything they do is based on deception. Serves to be true in this situation. All right, y'all, let's see what I got for you today. You know, they say the first million is hard to get, but the second million and the ones that follow are much easier. And I think a lot of people attribute that to the fact that you have the million dollars, right? 
And I think that's obviously a factor. You can invest it, do different things. But the larger picture and the thing that I think a lot of people miss is that the reason why that's difficult is because you have to go through all this character development and you have to become a different person. You have to become a millionaire in your heart, in your mind, in your character, in everything that you do. There's a lot of different characteristics and things that get attributed to the character that you'll have to build as you go along the way. But one thing that I think, you know, old timers even say, you know, that you have to have is patience. And they say patience is a virtue. And for me, when I think patience, I don't necessarily think, you know, waiting for a long time for something to occur. But I think patience in my day to day life, patience in how I talk to people um, and, and don't become frustrated, um, you know, patience with myself and with the system or like how things go. Um, you know, when you can, when you can step back and take a breath and not rush it and, uh, you can be patient and kind and calm and collective with someone, everything just goes so much smoother and so much easier. And, uh, you know, you can tell when someone's frustrated, I do a lot of sales. So it's like, I can be patient and kind and friendly with my voice and really, you know, come off in a way that makes them feel comfortable and at ease and things like that. So reading someone, having patience with them and having that friendly voice, having patience in your voice, things like that can really go a long way in this endeavor. And you're going to have to have it. But it's one of the many things that you have to develop in order to become a millionaire. And in my opinion, that's the reason why the first million is so difficult to acquire. You have to become a millionaire. All right, y'all. I always appreciate you listening in. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you on the next one.